Make a date with Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Markwe at 6 a.m. from Monday to Saturday on Graphic Online via Facebook and YouTube as he expounds on matters of faith. Graphic Online, truth and accuracy every day. This is Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Marquis of Living Streams International, bringing you matters of faith with Graphic Online. Uh, Living Streams, we meet at the uh, Zoe Chapel of the Life Cathedral behind Zenith College, behind the Trade Fair. This morning, I'm still on um, molecules of jealousy. That is, ingredients of jealousy. These are the telltale signs of jealousy. You know, sometimes you can walk around and say, oh me, I'm not jealous, I'm not jealous. But truthfully, you are. I remember one funny story where, I mean, my wife was saying to me, talking to me about somebody, and then I kept saying, mm, mm, mm. And then she turned to me, hey, is that? And then she best start laughing. Then she said, I can't believe that you are jealous. And I said, me? No, 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 but truthfully, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, listen, molecules of jealousy. And we are taking a look at First Samuel chapter 18, verse 6 to 16 and the whole of 1 Samuel chapter 19 to capture this story. It is about a man called Saul. And we have already stated that, number one, you know, he must be taller than everybody. That means he must receive all the praise. Nobody else must receive the praise. Number two, he's, um, he's uncomfortable with the success stories of other uh, people. We, ex we, we express that this then, you know. And um, now we're going on to the, the, the second part which is very, very important. One particular ingredient of jealousy is that you dig into the success stories of other people. That means you, you, you dig to find faults in the success story of other people. You, you, you look for, you'll be very, very surprised when people are saying, oh, a person did this and that. Oh, but, you know, there's always a but. But maybe the person could have done it this way. Yeah, they, it is, not, it is not constructive criticism, it is destructive criticism aimed at letting others know that this thing is nothing really. What you do is that you denigrate the success stories of other people, you diminish the applause, or you, 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 you kind of douse the, the, the flames of celebration, you douse it, you become a wet blanket to, to the praise of the, they are, uh, the praise of other people. You, you are a wet blanket. And you know, that it, it is a character trait. It is something that you, uh, uh, so you dig for faults in, in, in the person's uh, success story. And then the next thing too that you do is that you throw spears. That means you, you say hateful things about the person. You, after all, you, did you know about this? You know this thing. Look, I was at a wedding. And at the wedding, I mean, the, 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 bride, the bridegroom was standing there, the bride was coming. I mean, we were all excited. I was sitting by a couple of ladies. And the things they were saying about the bride, you know, hmm, do you know, hmm, and, 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 and who, this man, she trapped him, and all those. I'm like, what? You are at the person's wedding, and the things coming out of your mouth, uh, you, you know, you, you, you would always look for faults in, 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 in the person's, you dig for faults in the person's ancestor. You throw spears at the person. You don't only throw spears at, at the person. You get angry with people celebrating that person. You get angry with people celebrating this thing. I, 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 was, at a, I was at a church service and I was sitting by uh, uh, two ladies and the pastor was preaching. And the things the pastor was saying was hilarious. You get it? And apparently that one of the ladies had a problem with him. You know, because she thought he had said something about her. He had blasted her. And what the pastor said was hilarious. And I best start laughing. And the other lady too started laughing. The way the offended lady looked at her like, you, you are laughing at this. You get it? And what the, what the pastor said had nothing to do with anybody over there. He had just made a funny remark for me that was bringing the church alive. That was bringing people to a nice sense of humor. But what happens is that when you're walking in the, in, in, in the, on the treadmill of, of jealousy, what happens is that you, 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 
You get angry with people who celebrate. Why are you celebrating that? Don't you know this and that and that? But you shouldn't be celebrating. And sometimes you, you even do it to, to polarize people. You form a clique. That means you have people that you regularly meet with to talk about that other person. That was what Saul was doing. He had a clique. And those, that, that clique majored on, on, on that. And, 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 and that was it. So you form a clique. The formation of a clique that sit at your table of offense or that sit at your table of jealousy. That is what you do. So you have people who, who feed you with all the wrong things that you want to hear about the person. It is not because of anything. You are jealous. You know, when people are coming to talk to you about the person, they have to say negative things about the person to you. That is when they'll catch your attention. That is when the, your joy this thing, is, 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 is lifted. That is when your, 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 your insecurity is, is, is appeased. That was what the Bible said. That was what the, he formed the clique, the formation of a clique to, 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 um, at, uh, to sit at your table of jealousy. Then the next principle, which is very, very important, you attack anybody who sees differently. You attack anybody. You remember the Bible said uh, Saul took a spear and threw the spear at David. And then his son Jonathan, Jonathan comes in to the defense of David and says, My dad, this boy, I don't think he has done anything. Some of the things you are hearing, he has not done it. He took a spear and threw it at his son too. So you attack others who see differently. So for you, one, your jealousy doesn't brook any objectivity concerning the person. Every report about the person must be negative. Everybody must side with you. And that was what he was doing. That was what he was doing. The, the next uh, principle is that you feed on foolish sympathies. You feed on foolish sympathies. So guess what? One time, Saul sat down and said, is there anybody here who won't uh, get it? Isn't there somebody here who can get rid of this guy for me? You get it? He's, uh, he, this guy is giving me trouble. So he was drawing sympathy from people. He was pulling out sympathy cards from people. And it is just stupid sympathy. Because the person has not done anything wrong. And that is it. You are obsessed with the person. So the damnation of that person. The, the, and what you do is that you, you lobby. You speak into the minds of people. You pollute the minds of people. Concerning that person. And the Bible said, you see, that's one of the things that some people are simpletons. They don't think through the issues. They don't find out the truth. But you have fed them with a lot of garbage and they've made themselves refuse dumps for the garbage that you bring to them about other people. And as a result of that, you know, you, you draw sympathy, foolish sympathy from people. You tell them stories that are not true. You tell them stories that don't exist. You say things about the person in order to solicit their sympathies. Then the next principle is everybody owes you loyalty. Everybody owes you loyalty. Say so that if there's a little bit of dissent, hey, hey, no, 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 no. Everybody, the, the, all the people you have gathered, the sympathies you have gathered, they owe you loyalty. They must never find out the truth for themselves. Objectivity is rebellion and rejection to you. Objectivity is rebellion and rejection to you. You lie. You lie. You, you, you play the sympathy card. You, you don't brook objectivity. Everybody owes you loyalty and the favor. That was what Saul was playing at. And the last thing is, in your pursuit to kill the person, you will end up dead. Mark my words. You are going to hurt yourself. In the end, you will die. And that's exactly what Saul did. In his pursuit of David, in his, in, in his fisting of the bread of, uh, on the table of jealousy, in, in, in digesting the molecules of, of, of jealousy, he ended up killing himself. So sometimes, these molecules of jealousy, we must do everything in our power 
to avoid. Molecules of jealousy at the table of jealousy. Avoid it. See you later.